Tanya Chu. I'm a PhD student in MDA Networks Institute. And my current work is focusing on security and privacy in faculty learning. Well, back in the day, I was all about being the president of the United Nations. But as I grow older, I figure out how awesome the science is. And I started dreaming about being a scientist. You know, there is something super cool to diving into the mysteries of the world. I chose to pursue a research career because I just can't get enough of poking around into unknown. You know, it's like the never-ending adventure. You asking questions that nobody tackled before and entering into the uncharted territory and adding the puzzle pieces to what we all know. It's a total rush. Well, what I like most about my job is the freedom that I can chase down the real world problem and following the curiosity wherever it leads me. So I really enjoy diving into the topics at hand and discover the details and figure out what I can do. The thoughts that my work can really help the society out is like it uh, ignites the fire within me. One of my female role models is Margaret Hamilton. Well, she is a total legend in software engineering. She leads the team that uh, makes sure the software for the NASA's Apollo missions, especially Apollo 11, the moon landing, uh, was sported on. Uh, her innovative uh, approaches like uh, SDS NOS uh, software and error detection showcased her foresight and uh, the technical prowess. So the most cool part is that not only did she rush into a male-dominated area, but also she co-founded her own software company, which is a real trailblazer. So for me, Margaret Hamilton is not only just a tech whiz, she is also an inspiration because um, she shows that resilience and brilliance can break through all the barriers. So in the conference and summer school and seminar I have been attend, uh, usually the representative of the women are on the low side. But recently I have spot a very positive shift on this. More women are jumping into this area. This means we are making a good stride towards a more balanced scene in this field. Plus, there are more and more support networks and initiatives uh, actively pushing about the diversity and inclusion. Um, however, I know we still just face a lot of challenges, for example, how to balance the work and personal life and gender bias and also the potential barrier to career advancement. But we can see, in fact, all this ongoing effort is a commitment to build a more supportive and a better environment for women in STEM. So I would say get behind and participating in these initiatives. That's how we push the needle for a more diversity and equality in STEM area. To the technologist of the future, I would say um, embrace the curiosity as a compass and use the innovation as a guide. You know, as to be a pioneer, diving into unknown and see the challenge as the opportunity. Mm -hmm.